Greetings, this is Brandon with Primarily Pens. Today I have the prototype for David Osterson's latest creation, the Deus Regent. The Deus Regent will have eight color variations of 88 pens each. This prototype color scheme will not be one of the eight releases. Besides the color, the prototype has one difference from the release versions, and I'll call that out later. Deus Regent means God rules, and this pen shows the power of God over all with light over darkness. As usual, we will start at the top. Here we have pure white showing the purity of God. All of the color variations have all white tops. The rest of the cap has great complexity of images and color. The central feature is a fresco-like image of God breaking through the clouds. Very dramatic. The clouds are tinged in citron to highlight the power of God. In low relief surrounding God are heavenly heralds who sing his praises. These are like Easter eggs to me. You will miss them unless you look very closely. Just wonderful. One of the many reasons I appreciate the artistry of David Osherson's work. You can also see some lovely light blue and azure of the sky. The clip is God's scepter with the diamond at the top. The band has David Osherson's name, silver hallmarks, and the pen number. This shows P of 88, although as I mentioned earlier, at this time, this is the only pen of this color scheme. Normally I would continue with the barrel, but instead I'll open up the pen. As with all of David Otterson's pens, this does not post. We have a two-toned 18 karat gold nib with the Otterson logo. The grip is engraved and continues with the duality motif. Half shows the spirit prison with bars, basically not accepting God. And the other half, Spirit Paradise, represented by a blazing sun. It is cartridge converter, or it can be eyedrop filled. Solid sterling silver brings it at a hefty 91 grams. Now going back to the barrel, I will start the descent into hell. Here we have a translucent mossy black with a very interesting rising flame galoche pattern. At the lower portion of the barrel, we have the adversary, represented by a snake. The devil was referred to as the adversary in the book of Job. The release versions will have small rubies in the eyes of the adversary, which look amazing. This shows a seductive beauty that can blind the adversary's victims to his intent. In that same sense, looking at the, at the flame galosh in the other direction looks vaguely like a goat. The very bottom transitions to opaque black, representing the absence of God. Like the pure white at the top, this pure black is also in all the color variations. So David Osherson was able to have the pen show this wonderful transition of light to dark, but also, and I skipped this on purpose, shows the power of God reigns supreme and still reaches into the darkness via these rays of light encroaching into the flames. Again, just wonderful imagery. Well, there you have it, David Osherson's Deus Regent. Simply amazing imagery in the cap, great barrel galoche, and the snake is a wonderful, wonderful touch. Amazing pen. Please leave comments below, take a look at my other reviews, and subscribe to Primarily Pens. I'll have additional reviews soon.